take a look at that video right there, Terrence Howard. That was for the premiere of Hustle and Flow right here in Memphis, Tennessee. And you guys took the time, you took the time to be on Live at Nine back in the day for that, man. What? I just busted. I was on a plane coming back from, from Europe, and I popped a blood vessel in my eye. It had never happened before. I will never smoke that pot. <laughs> You'll never do it again. I'll never smoke that kind of pot. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> Obviously not. What comes to mind, though, when you think back on, the, on these days and what was going on in your life? Did you have a gut feeling that this movie was going to be no, really transformative? No, check this out. I made $12,000 for doing Hustle and Flow. And then on top of it, what Paramount did, <laughs> instead of putting my name as Terrence Howard performing the, the songs, right. they put performed by DJ. Well, they own DJ. So guess what? The performance royalties went to Paramount. They went, Wait a so minute. They didn't go to Terrence Howard. Howard. They went $12, to... $12,000. All, that's all I ever made from Hustle and Flow. Everything else went right back into Paramount. So now I got to sue Paramount or send them a letter. Are you serious? I got to send them a letter to say, hey, you guys owe me about 20 years worth of residuals and, and performance royalties. But I didn't know. I was just, right, trying, right, I was just right. trying to pay my rent then. I made $6,000 doing, doing Crash. Crash didn't. I remember the movie Crash. Dollars. Yes, that's right. That's right. The business don't pay actors anything. That's why we're. That's why the strike is going on. Actors are struggling. As you and I were kind of joking earlier, it's hard out here for a pimp. Yeah, it is hard unless you do it right. Unless you do and it I right. And I was. I'm, I've never been good at being a pimp. You know, the pimp has to have a heart, a heartless, a heart of stone. You know, and and mine is made of flesh and yeah. blood, and like everybody else. So I'm like, why can't we be fair to each other in the industry? Why is there there this lack of equanimity mm -hmm. you know so we start my wife started a thing called my holly dot app and it gives an opportunity for actors or entertainers around the world to now audition on their phone you don't have to go to hollywood right. you don't have to go to tokyo or singapore or 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 any place you can actually stay at home, stay in school, audition, keep your day job, and accomplish your dreams. So, Terrence, what, you're taking out the middleman, so to speak, Completely. are you not? I want to get rid of the agents. I want to get rid of the managers. I want to get rid of the unions. SAG has done nothing. They, they sit up and say they're here right. for us. Now they're talking because they haven't gotten the right. money. When I went to SAG five years ago saying, hey, Fox stole my image from, from, from mm -hmm. Hustle and Flow, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they're monetizing it. SAG didn't do anything to help me. They waited nine months till the statute of limitations got, oh, I'm sorry, you mm -hmm. definitely got a, mm -hmm. a statute of uh, um, a rights of publicity issue. So they're not here to help the actors. They're here to make their money. So we're starting um, a community of international artists. Okay that we'll all work together and support each other in this, in this quest to tell the truth and, mm -hmm. and to entertain mm -hmm. each other.